Chris from Hexamatic. In this tutorial, I want to cover how you can use uh, ready-made automations to automate time-consuming tasks. Um, so to get started, you can uh, firstly see all our available automations in the automation section. So this, um, these are organized by type, and uh, you can do a very wide range of things with them from um, discovering text stack, uh, getting who is details, finding email addresses, social media uh, profiles, uh, to uh, performing Google searches, etc. So uh, to get started, uh, you need to first create a workflow. So everything starts from a workflow, whether you want to run a scraping recipe or an automation. Now, the really neat thing about Hexamatic is that workflows are a bit like a blank canvas. You can uh, you start with a data source and uh, like a data input. And then you can combine uh, scraping recipes and um, automations to create your perfect workflow. So in this case, uh, let's start with a, a little example. So every automation needs a starting point um, called the data input. Um, so here you have different options. You can upload a CSV file which has uh, different links or um, keywords. Uh, you can upload a TXT file. You can paste a list of inputs, or you can paste like a block of text. Um, this depends on which automation you want to run or which scraping recipe you want to run. Uh, you can also start a workflow with a scraping recipe. So for example, if you had a e-commerce store that you wanted to scrape, you wanted to get all their product uh, details, you could run the scraping recipe first in your workflow. You can find the scraping recipes here. And then for every URL, you could then run automations to enrich the data. So for this uh, quick example, I'm just going to paste a list of URLs. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of research. So I've put in three car manufacturers. And for every uh, website, uh, we're going to perform a few uh, research tasks. So let's, for example, um, start with uh, looking for social media profiles. So this automation will look for, uh, you can select, for example, uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram. So what this will do for each URL is going to look for uh, links to either Facebook, YouTube, or whichever um, social platform you, you picked. Uh, then, for example, we could um, capture a screenshot. So if, for example, you wanted to know whether uh, a website brand as well in a mobile device, um, you could uh, choose your data input from here, and then you can choose the device size for your screenshot. For example, here we'll choose a small mobile device. Uh, then we could uh, extract the schema if it exists. Uh, we could get, for example, SCR meta tags. So if you're a, an agency and, uh, or you're doing competitive research, uh, you could, for example, look for um, the title meta, the meta description, uh, whether they use uh, canonical tags, robots meta tags, um, open graph, Twitter graph, uh, these kinds of, um, of tags. Uh, next, we can um, uh, perform a word count. So if you wanted to know if um, how much content each landing page has, for example, uh, you could uh, look for email addresses. So what this will do is for every URL, it will look for uh, publicly shown email addresses. Uh, you could um, look at the who is details. So for every URL, you could, for example, check uh, the, um, uh, when the uh, domain, uh, uh, when it expire, uh, when it was registered, uh, when it expires. So this is quite useful, for example, to break the ice uh, when you're getting in touch with prospects. Uh, you could get their tech stack. So what this will do, it will look for uh, any third party uh, libraries or apps which are used on the website. You can use this as well for outreach. Um, it will let you know, for example, if a website uses a live chat platform, if it uses Google Analytics, if it uses Google, uh, um, Google uh, tagging, uh, Facebook pixels, etc. Uh, next, uh, you could uh, look for specific uh, files. 
So for example, links to PDF files as an example, you could translate, etc., etc. So I'm just gonna save this. And to run, you simply click here. What you can do is you can run it one time or you can schedule it. So for example, this could run on a weekly, monthly basis. So I'm just gonna uh, run it now. Now, the great thing is, is that this only took us uh, a few minutes, but the time that you will save by doing this is immense. You could load up a list of 100 URLs or you could perform a Google search um, getting, for example, the first 300 uh, results. And for each result, you can look for these types of um, uh, data points. So I'm just gonna open up one I made earlier. So usually uh, this takes uh, a few moments to run, depending on how, how big your uh, URL list is. So here's one I did earlier. Uh, we've got, for example, our free uh, manufacturers. Um, it didn't find any emails on these pages but it found uh, Facebook profiles on these two, uh, YouTube uh, profile, Twitter, um, none had LinkedIn, uh, Instagram profiles. We've got the title tag, the meta description, uh, the word count, the character count, the text tag. So here we know that they're using Akamai as a CDN. Uh, they're using Drupal, they're using Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager. They're using Varnish as a caching solution. Uh, here they're using Azure, they're using um, Adobe apps, uh, they're using Amazon ECS, uh, they've got a Facebook pixel. Uh, you can use this for outreach, for example, so, uh, or you can use it to filter your prospects. So you could look, for example, for prospects that are using a specific technology. Uh, this is really useful. Uh, you can see when the, um, the domain name expires, how many days to expiration, when it was registered. Uh, you've got like a device screenshot, for example, here, I'm just gonna uh, click this one and you can see, for example, a Tesla website loads like this. Um, let's look at, uh, for example, so this is the BMW website. So it loads up like that. So this is ideal if, for example, you want to see uh, if uh, websites are mobile optimized. Uh, let's see what other data points we have here. Um, so in this case, we also use the traffic insights uh, automation. Now this is really powerful. Um, what it will do is we'll show you estimates of uh, traffic, um, their sort of global and country rank, um, it will show them uh, the average time um, uh, visitors dwell on the, on the page. It will show you the uh, estimated bounce rate, um, breakdowns of organic traffic, search traffic, direct traffic, referring traffic, uh, the, top, um, uh, the top five referring websites, um, a lot of powerful stuff. So, this is the kind of data that would take probably hours to compile using uh, public data sources. Um, with Hexamatic, you can run these on autopilot at scale. Uh, you can start with a list of URLs. Um, you can start with a Google search or Google Maps search. And then for every uh, potential prospect, you can enrich the data um, on, on autopilot. So I hope this was useful. Uh, this was a short guide on how to use our automations. Uh, you can find these here. And again, the big game changer with Hexamatic is the ability to create a workflow and combine scraping recipes and multiple automations uh, that run uh, automatically. So I hope that was useful. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.